Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today at the city of Santa Ana at the Goodwill. I'm really excited to take you guys into the store. We are the, at the location on Grand. There's a couple here in Santa Ana. The Grand location is where we're at. There's also another one. Uh, it's called the Goodwill Marketplace. And that one is on, I don't remember the street, but if you type in Goodwill Marketplace, it'll come up. Anyway, that's another story for a different day because today we are at the one on Grand. But if you guys love these sorts of videos, thrifting, hauls, unboxings, live sales, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see what I'm for sale from other finger measures. And I, you know, it just occurred to me that like my channel is so crazy. Like, because here we tr we cover everything from, like, thrifting, and then, like, handbag repairs, and then kind of, like, lifestyle with, like, there's, like, vlogs and food and cooking, and then, like, my family, and then, like, we also have, like, the luxury unboxings, too, so, like, you go from, like, to, like, huge spectrum of stuff, but that's what I love, right? Like, I love, like diversity and difference so if you guys like that kind of stuff definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and joining our little family here but um let's go inside the store and i'll show you guys uh what they have let's go here's the store let's go inside it looks like halloween has hit the store as well and there's hello bunch of halloween stuff Ooh. With these shoes. Here's another like really cool like mask thing. Is that what you would call that? I I feel like it's like from the same maker as the peacock one. So they're pretty interesting. They're twenty two ninety nine each. Oh my gosh! A little baby hedgehog. I don't even know where I want to head to first, but I know I want to head somewhere. Let's go over here to the plates and knickknacks, I guess. Oh, how cute is that? I'm trying to see if they have any cool crystal stuff. Looking for more stuff for my aunt. I actually just went to another Goodwill right now and found some great stuff for her. I definitely I think I'm going to do like a huge haul video of stuff that I found for her because I got a bunch of stuff so far and I'm really excited about it. How cool is this thing? It's like a two-tiered something or other. You can put like cupcakes and snacks and stuff on here. Sorry, my battery just died. I don't even know when it cut off, but still looking at the plates. Last time I was here, um, well, not last time, but maybe like three times ago that I was here, I found some really great anthropology plates, and that was really exciting. These plates are kind of cute. Yeah. On this Mikasa star thing. This is pretty cute. No price though, and there's only one. Maybe I'll wait off. Mugs. <laughs> so many. Don't think I see any cool anthro ones or. Starbucks or anything. I'm trying to channel some sort of Tiffany's something or other. I want like some glasses or candlestick holder, anything. Have you guys found any Tiffany's recently? Let me know down below in the comments. Is this like a hair heater? Maybe? And look at this lamp. Fancy lamp. I wonder where this is from. Well, they're all, like cleaned out of furniture right now. There's not very much left.
They have a cool standing mirror. Desk. The artwork. Alright you guys, I went to Target because I'm on a mission. I'm looking for something for mom, but how cute. Are these... Oh, they're candles? Stop. Oh, how cool. $15 each. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? Wait, they have one of those pumpkin things at William Stoma or Pottery Barn. They're so expensive. wonder if they have it here. Okay, you guys, I found them. I don't remember if I got mom the pumpkin. So I think I'm just going to get her another pumpkin. And then if she has it already, I'm just going to return it. All right, here we go. Let's go inside. All right, we are in the store. <laughs> Sorry to film until I got over here. But I was talking to mom. She called me. And... um we had a little chit chat so but let me show you guys what's inside the store i went through the bags there's nothing really exciting so that's pretty much all you guys missed but now we're going to take a look through the rest of like the home decor and knickknacks and stuff you guys know this is my favorite this is that cup that i saw last time that i thought was tiffany's but it's not this one's kind of cute I just bought it, this measuring cup. Um, I looked it up. It's actually an anthropology one. So, and it's really, really cute. So I think I'm going to pick it up. It's only $3.99. Somali hatch design. So, pretty excited. I love a cute measuring cup. And I'm still looking through all the glassware and stuff to see if I can find anything. Um, that's cool. This is like a cute shape for a glass mug. Um, but yeah, I'll report back to you guys if I see anything cool though, anything else. I'm really happy about this. This is really cute. Alright, we are in the plate section now. This is an interesting bowl. And... Hoping to find something interesting. I saw people like, they had literally have a cart full of like plates but i think they were all like those decorative plates jonathan harlan bavaria germany Ooh, my inner grandma loves this one that's pretty 2.99 some ikea plates right there these are interesting too I like that design on them Let's see where this is from Oh, uh, see here are the other decorative plates. There's a ton of them. Looks like someone donated their entire collection. Ooh, but these are really pretty. The colors are super vibrant. Here, one. I kind of like these two with the black and white border. From Ikea. These red vanilla royal fine china gosh you know what would be so cool like one day I have my own plate line now i'm looking for um some like yetis or something oh my gosh you guys how cute is this it's like a little um among us character for your airpods i think i'm gonna get this it is blue eliza's gonna like even though he doesn't have airpods but i need a new airpod case for myself so i think i'll use that and then Eliza will probably try and steal it. Um, but let's see what else is down here. Ooh, there's a bag. What is this? Oh my gosh, everything's falling. Try not to fall. Let's push this in some more. There we go. Okay, what is this bag? It looks like a Claire Vivier bag. Oh my gosh, it is a Claire Vivier bag. And it's only 10 bucks. Made in California, it even has a little sticker. Yeah, not sticker, but a little tag. <gasps> this is cute. I thought that was torn, but it just looks like it's dirt. Something got stuck to it. This is a cute bag. <gasps> How fun, I love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm literally gonna be putting this inside of here. And now we have something to carry my stuff around while we look around some more. 
Yay! <laughs> How exciting. Ooh, this bowl is kind of nice. I like the colors in it. Nah, $6.99? It's pretty. Why do I think these candles are from like Pottery Barn or something? $4.99. Trying to see if they smell. <laughs> now my hands are all waxy. Yikes. Literally the same marble paper towel thing that I have inside the house. $2.99. This one's just a little dirty. Ooh, this is cool. A horse. A horse. Wait, what is it called? A horse fish? No. Seahorse horse fish. Sanor Ceramica made in Portugal. So pretty. Guys, I'm looking at these outdoor pillows. They're kind of light. The leaves kind of look like the morongai leaves that we have on our tree in the backyard, but they're $10 each. And there's two of them. So I'm like kind of looking at them for fall. Are they fallish? Are they like more springish? I mean, like maybe these are year round, right? I don't know. I also found these um, coach shoes. They're 20 bucks. I think they're actually from Nordstrom Rack or something. Uh, but I mean, I'm pretty sure someone wore them and then. Um, donated them. They're kind of cute, but they're the rubber is damaged, so it's like eh. As I found this launch port thing, I think this is like an iPhone charger or something. I think they're really expensive. I looked it up, they're a couple hundred. Uh, I'm gonna plug it in and see if it works. It's only six bucks. I'm look at it. Alright, you guys just got the crossroads. This is the one in Huntington Beach. Let's go inside, check it out. There's this cute Michael Kors tote. Let's see the crossbody strap, which is a bummer. All right, guys, just got the crossroads in Irvine. Let's go check it out. This little Mark Jacobs is so cute. There's this Kate Spade. Some Michael Kors. It's a long chomp. Uh, it is a long chomp. Oh, but it's 42. I'm so sad, guys. This is a great Cory Birch, but the sides are all torn. Like something about it eaten. Well, just this one side is torn. I did find these two cute Michael, Mike, uh, Michael, Mark Jacobs backpacks though, which I'm pretty excited about, especially the studded one. You guys, this looks like a Lindy, but it's not. It's like leather, and this one looks like a Chloe. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house, and I'm really excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today while we went out thrifting. So, we went to the Goodwill, we also went to Crossroads, I'll show you guys what I got. Let's start off with the Goodwill. I just got a couple little things. Okay, so, let me start off with this. I had to get this little, um, AirPod case. He's a little Among Us character. I'm actually gonna put this guy on my phone, or my phone. I'm going to put this guy on my AirPods right now. I actually have my AirPods right here. And I got this because this is Eliza's favorite color. And he loves Among Us. And he doesn't have his own AirPods. So, I mean, I guess he can live vicariously through me in the meantime. But, it's... Oh my gosh, that is so... Stinking... Oh yeah, that is so... So cute. It's a little bulky, but like it's okay, whatever. It's so cute. I love it. I'm so excited. So this was um how much was this? Like a dollar. It was a dollar ninety-nine. So that is a fantastic little deal right there. Now I got a, a new AirPod case. My other one, like the top part got loose. So like that it never like it wouldn't stick to the lid anymore or to the top of the thing so um i was afraid like the whole thing would just like fly out but this is super duper cute and i'm pretty excited about it i probably won't attach it to anything i probably i might actually just remove this um uh, i think i like it better without the little thing but super duper cute so that's that very happy um then i found this little gem so this is a measuring cup and I love that it says, one step at a time, inside. I think that is so cute. And then you have, like, all the measurements on the inside. And then this is, like, a four-cup measuring cup. Like, one step at a time. Isn't that, like, that one, that one sauce? Like, one step at a time, I'm learning to love. It's like learning to the, the I don't know. Sorry. Like, but... A little excited about this. And this is from Anthropology. It's by, um... 
a collaboration they did with, I think it's Molly Hatch right there down below. This was only $3.99. So, I mean, who doesn't need a measuring cup? Uh, we always use them. And I think, like, we had, okay, we literally have a Pyrex measuring cup from, like, gaz a gazillion years ago. It's probably older then it's probably as old as I am maybe even probably not as not older than I am we probably like bought it when we moved like when my mom moved to America and that was after I was born so it's probably around as old as I am or something and it had like a huge chip in it and we just kept it and then like I don't know I like we finally got rid of it and then I got another measuring cup I don't know you always need a measuring cup plus this one's really really cute and I really like it and I know mom's gonna like this too so I actually got this for mom she loves cooking things like cooking supplies whatnot and then if anything we can always send this to our family in the Philippines also we always do that with like our extra stuff or I always like end up picking up like a bunch of random stuff and like um we send like our older stuff to them or i'll send the newer stuff that i find if we ended up not using it in the kitchen so there's always someone that the like these items are gonna go to like so they're definitely gonna go to a good home so love that i love that piece um then up next this was very very exciting because this is such a cute bag and here it is it is a uh, Claire Vivier, um, I don't know what the actual name is, but it's a round, like, satchel bag. Um, it's in this white leather that has these blue and green stripes coming down on both sides. Um, this is actually, like, something that's stuck to it right there that's on the side. Let me see if I can actually clean it off. I'm going to use some of my foaming cleanser or um, shoe cleaner from... This is Kiwi Shoe Cleaner. And I always keep some of this around because this is what I use to clean um, bags up. And oh yeah, this is coming right off. I probably need a little bit more. But like I was looking at it, I was like, oh man, it's damaged. But then it's actually not. So sometimes things like this, like you gotta take a good look at the bags. And that's what I love about like fixing up handbags and stuff. Because if you can like learn to like see what to look for or um, how to like fix things or, you know, things like people, like handbags will end up in the Goodwill or thrift stores um, just because like they have a couple little stains or they look a little dirty and then Thrift stores will, like, sometimes mark them down a lot more when they're, like, a little bit more damaged looking, when they're actually not. And just that quick cleaning got rid of that stuff on there that looked like it was, like, somehow damaging the bag, and it was not. So, um, it's super duper easy to fix things up sometimes, and sometimes that's all you need, and there's not, like, some huge thing that you have to do to fix it. Um, and even with, even if it was kind of damaged like that on one side, it's only one side. I mean, the other side was in fantastic shape. So, yeah. Anyway, here's the interior of the bag. It's in a chambray fabric, and then there's one interior pocket. Um, and what's great about Claire Vivier bags, too, is that Claire Vivier is a, uh, California-based designer, and all of her bags are made here in good old US of A in California. So, I really love that aspect about her brand. Um, this bag was only $10, and what a great deal. I don't even know, like, I might even keep this for my personal collection. I just think the bag is really, really cool. Um, what do you guys think? Is that cool or what? Like, it's just, like, a fun bag. But I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily use it too often but I think it's like it's a cool piece anyway so I think this is just like a cool like even like a decorative piece it just looks like a piece of art kind of because I love how structured it is and I don't know the colors are fun so those are the things that I got at the Goodwill now these are what I got at um Crossroads so the first thing I have here is this Mark by Mark Jacobs backpack it is so cute this is a mini backpack there's the back straps right there. Uh, adorable. 
I love it. I love like the smooth leather of this. I love that there's a zipper pocket right here in the top flap. If you just need to like access some things easily. If you want to put like your card in there. If you want to be able to grab your card easily. Um, and then also what's cool is that it has a little turn lock right here down below. So normally like I feel like it would be like a magnetic strap or magnetic something or other. But this is a little turn lock. It does also have the drawstring feature as well. And then inside it's just um nice and clean right there there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets down below as well so mark by mark jacobs little mini drawstring backpack so so stinking cute and i know a lot of you guys love the little backpacks right now they're so on trend and i feel like little backpacks like tiny ones they never go out of style like little backpacks are here to stay until the end of time forever and this is just like a cool chic looking one and I really like it so very excited about that now another um, backpack that I got I got a lot of backpacks you guys this is another Mark Jacobs mark by Mark Jacobs backpack this one is a little larger this is about a medium size um, now this one you could probably use for school um, you probably wouldn't be able to put like a large binder in it, but definitely like notebooks, composition books, um, it'll fit your essentials like your pencils, your pens, your calculators, stuff like that. Uh, plus who wants to carry all their, like their books inside their backpacks now anyway, they're so heavy. Um, but it has a cool, a bunch of cool details. I love the studs. I think I actually thrifted the same exact backpack a couple years ago I know for sure I got the little backpack it's the mini version of this um, it's even smaller than the drawstring one that I just showed you and I believe that one was a convertible that could turn into a crossbody so um, very excited though about this backpack it is really really cute I love the studded details all around um, there's a zipper pocket in the front and then the main zipper compartment uh, opens like this. The inside is nice and clean. There's also one zipper pocket right there. And it has a little um, medallion charm right there. This is marked by Mark Jacobs. And the backpack is just really well made. It's all leather. And it's in great shape. The leather is super duper soft too. So it's a really cute backpack. I'm pretty excited about it. So. And my sister's birthday is coming up. Um, and like... I think in about like almost exactly a month. Yeah, it actually might be a month from today, I think. Anyway, um, and I have been like trying to search for something to give her. So I don't know, maybe the, like I'm thinking about a bag. I just gave her a bag recently though. So I'm like, should I give her like a really cool wallet? Cause I feel like the wallet that she always uses is like a little older. So maybe like a new wallet, but I don't know, we'll see. Like the options are endless. And we still have a long time to go shopping for her, so I'm not worried. But I always like to keep my eye out. I'm like one of those people, like I'm constantly shopping for like birthdays or like the holidays or whatever. And the only bad thing is, is that I will buy them and like I can't keep it to myself and like wait till it's like the actual time that I, like I need a present I will like I want to give you the present like right away so that's the only like bad thing about like trying to shop for everyone is I can't keep it to myself I have to give it to you already so um yeah the next thing that I got and I think I might keep this for myself but I'm not sure but this is a Zedig and Voltaire fanny pack and fanny packs Again, are another thing I think are like here to stay. Uh, I remember like back when I was little, they were so, so popular and had like a neon yellow fanny pack that I was obsessed with. And then fanny packs have come back in a big way. And I feel like they're definitely here to stay. Um, what's great about these, you can wear them like as like a fanny pack like around your waist. Or you can wear these um, kind of like as a body bag. And like, look how cool that looks. Like this looks really cool. I love... The contrast with my navy shirt and then the golden brown of the leather and this leather is so soft I feel like it might be a lambskin and I love the quilting I think it's really cool it kind of looks like a hound's tooth kind of quilting that's done to it and then it has the black zipper right here um, and then this also does come with the dust bag inside and it also comes with another chain as well 
So you can kind of carry it as like a shoulder bag. Um, you can attach the chain right here, and it kind of come becomes kind of like another um, like accessory or like you know like it'll it can definitely add to the bag as well. Um, another cool thing that you can do with a chain is you can attach the chain to one side, and then you can attach the other piece of the chain to the zipper. So then that way you have like kind of like a cool long chain that attaches and then like, you know, like it, you can open and close the bag easily with like the zipper pull or whatever because then I'm going to stop trying to talk about it and just like show you guys like how cool this is. So attach it right there. And the other side you can attach right here to the zipper. So then you kind of have like this cool like look you have like the chain kind of hanging it still has this plastic on i haven't taken it off but like then you can do that like i think it's really cool i like it um i may or may not put it up for sale maybe i will and then if like it doesn't end up selling or whatever if you guys don't like it i think i'll might keep it for myself but i have like so many bags honestly <laughs> and i have like another um, i have like my other party pick but this one's a cool one and i don't have one in this shape so i don't know this is kind of cool, right? I, I'm in love with the color because this color is so good. It's a neutral, but it still has such a good pop. And like, you can pair this with like white, you can pair it with black, you can pair it with brown and navy and gray and green. Like, it's just so, it's like a good, good neutral that has such a good pop. So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it. That is what I ended up getting today while we went out thrifting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, though, that I'm posting the rest of the videos that I filmed today throughout the rest of the week. I do post videos every single day at 7 a.m. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we have our live sales at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Consider joining. They are so much fun. I don't just sell you guys stuff. We chat and have a blast and I really love this community that we're building uh, everyone chats and talks to each other we follow each other on Instagram it's really really cute and I really really like it and it just makes me so happy like I the live sales I think are it's like one of the best things I've ever done like they're so much fun and I hope you guys can join us I'm gonna try to do them too earlier on in the day and during the weeks to make it a little bit easier and more accessible. But right now, like, Friday and Saturdays at 10 p.m. are honestly the best times for me. Um, but I know it's not the best time for everyone else. So um, let me know down below what the best times for you are. Also, let me know if you guys have found anything cool recently at the thrifts, because I always love hearing about your finds. I love living vicariously through you. And that's another thing we do during the lives. We share uh, our thrift finds. Uh, you guys send me the photos, and I'll show you guys in the live. And then that way, everyone can see in live time, like, the stuff that you found, and you can, like, chat with each other in the live chat and it's just so much fun so anyway i'm gonna stop talking hope you guys had fun today i love you guys all immensely i'll see you guys all in the next video all right bye